Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California, and today I'm going to tell you why I love totes and so does Gary. Storage containers. You can grow almost anything in a tote, literally. I'm going to show you hundreds, possibly thousands of things you can grow in a tote to grow food. You can grow them and put them on a chair, the totes. You can put them on tables if they're strong enough. But you know what? You can always put them on the ground like we do. We have totes straight on the ground. Just be prepared. You're going to get a lot of food. As far as color, you pick the colors you want. You want to go for a rainbow of color? That's great. But gray will work too. You can grow lettuce in a tote. You can grow beets in a tote, broccoli, cabbage. Cabbage has been one of my favorite to grow in a tote. Carrots. Carrots, of course, you can grow in a tote. Radishes, too, of course. Celery. Celery will come up everywhere here. Cucumbers. You can't stop those things from growing. They will leave the tote. Daikons, I believe they're called. The radish and eggplant. Eggplant, you can grow all kinds of eggplant. The eggplant you like, grow it. Garlic chives. You can grow garlic chives, all kinds of herbs in a tote. Kabocha, sweet kabocha squash, wonderful in a tote. Kale. You pick the type of kale you want. It will grow in a tote. Collard, tree collard, purple green, they'll grow in a tote. Potatoes, I have grow potatoes in totes. Korean melons, the sweet melons, they are wonderful growing in containers. And then, of course, your Malabar spinach. And they'll just crawl to the top as they develop their beautiful leaves and their berries, too. Mint, you want to grow that contained, so a tote is perfect. And okra, you okra lovers, you will get lots of okra in a tote. Onions of all types, whether it's walking onions or whether it is big onions you want to fry up and eat, they'll grow in a tote. Popolo, when you can't get cilantro, they'll grow in a tote. Pepinos, they love totes. That beautiful little fruit will grow in a tote. And peppers, all kinds of peppers. Your very hot peppers, like your black cobras. Your bell peppers of all kinds, they'll grow in a tote. Your be purple beauties, which actually are ripe when they're red, will grow beautiful in a tote. Red roselle will grow in a tote. Tomatillos grow in a tote. Tomatoes, you can grow any type. There are hundreds of varieties of tomatoes and they will grow perfect in one of these totes. You will love it. So easy to maintain and grow. Watermelon, we grew a lot of watermelon last year in a tote and they do great. Mushroom plant. That's an interesting plant, beautiful to do, use in stir fry, and it does wonderful growing this way. Lemon verbena. I've got many lemon verbenas in my yard, and they're all growing in containers and totes. Wonderful to make tea out of. And Swiss chard. All your different Swiss chard. Look at this. Look how big this one is. They have, look like elephant ears. They do fantastic growing like this. And as far as zucchini, oh my goodness, you can grow all kinds of zucchini in, in a tote. Be it white zucchini, green zucchini, or other squash, they do beautiful. You, they will grow out of a tote. They get so massive, they can be 10 pounds growing. Look at that in a tote. They are beautiful and the easiest thing to grow. But as far as maybe a fruit tree like a papaya, I've done it accidentally and let me say I don't recommend it it left the tote it's still there and yes it is huge those papayas still in the tote producing fruit but you know what if I were you I would stick with something like maybe grow some kale in the tote you might be better off than trying to grow massive fruit trees in a tote but you can do anything as far as growing in a tote. You can have an entire forest of food on a deck with a few containers and you can get a massive amount of food. Have a single one tote on a chair? Look at here, dill, lettuce, peas are growing in there, radishes are growing in there, sage. I've got everything in there and easy to maintain when you have it on a chair. Just stand, no bending on the ground and you can get so much food 
and you know how I make my own soil. I love filling my totes up, sometimes fast, sometimes slow, cleaning the garden. I just fill the totes up with all kinds of matter of that was once alive, like leaves and stems and paper even, kitchen scraps, and then I top it with some potting soil. But you know what? You do what you want. Put a bag of potting soil in there and go for it. And before you know it, you will have a forest all from a tote. I hope I've answered your questions on what you can grow in a tote. I'm going to say pretty much everything and anything. With that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.